and new at 10, $22 million is allowing a wildlife refuge on Oahu's North Shore to more than triple in size and scope. It will also up its visibility, allowing more public access than ever before. The Federal Wildlife Refuge will grow from 300 to 1,100 acres, and its responsibility will grow to include native shorebirds and endangered marine instead of just wetland birds. Good evening, and thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Akana. And I'm Laura Yamada. Kahuku residents got a chance to sound off on a master plan that will guide the James Campbell Wildlife Refuge for the next 15 years. New tonight, the issues that concern those who live in the area. KITV Force Catherine Cruz takes us there. The wildlife refuge will be essentially cast in a new light. Public access will be far greater than it is now, and the new pristine lands will be forever protected from development. This new area includes some two miles of spectacular coastline, which has been privately held for more than 100 years. What used to be private Campbell Estate land is now in protected public hands. It includes a unique but fragile dune environment with native plants and sprawling vistas. And other areas soon to be purchased may be used to help with needed flood control for Kahuku Town. Residents worry about flooding at the district park and at the Kahuku Bridge, which blocks access to the hospital. Maybe with the help of wildlife, they can, we can somehow address that issue and reduce the amount of water that collects in that area when we have flooding. The recently installed wind farms and other plans for a second project may trigger questions about the effect on migratory and native birds, but those impacts have been worked out with the developers. It's a trade-off. We know that some birds will be lost, but we don't think it's enough to hurt us or impact our populations, and they have already agreed through their process to uh, help to mitigate that loss. But one issue that is looming down the road is the end of the land lease with two shrimp farmers. Twelve years from now, the plans call for the farmers to relocate elsewhere, and some wonder if something can't be worked out so they can stay. I just have questions about what will happen to the shrimp farmers. So not that um, the birds are less important, but I think that the two, the two can coexist. The Wildlife Service says its rules don't allow for such an arrangement, and because of the unique situation under which the land was acquired, the farms are there under a special waiver, and that runs out in 2023. Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News. The federal money that was set aside for the refuge was only for purchasing the lands. Plans for additional flood control measures and for the visitor center will need additional funding.